What's going on everybody, Noah back here with another YouTube video, here today bringing you all some more Call of Duty Mobile to the channel. As you can see here, things have changed just a little bit, I went ahead and stretched out the aspect ratio of my iPad so that it is full screen, and I went ahead and made my cameras more of a like Tfue style layout I would say. I don't have an overlay yet, but I definitely think that this would look a whole lot better with one, so if you guys do want to see more videos with this format where the gameplay is actually full screen instead of like two thirds of the screen then just let me know in the comment section below i just wanted to sort of try it out anyway a couple days ago we had an update to the game that brought in a couple of new crates one being the toxic deluge crate that contains the lk24 anti-venom assault rifle now this skin i've been sort of calling for a while the unofficial noah from youtube skin because as you can see here on the left side of the weapon it's got a little animated nuke symbol and as you guys know like one of the biggest themes on this channel is me getting nukes in call of duty Mobile. So with that being said, today's video is going to be us running around with this LK24 anti-venom, showing off the skin a little bit, and also showing off the new hidden update that was given to the LK24, I guess a couple days ago, because I've been using this weapon off and on about a week ago, and the update hadn't been given to this weapon until I signed on today and noticed it. So as far as the weapon stats go, I don't think that they actually messed with it at all. The only change I believe they made was tweaking the audio file. So whenever you shoot the weapon now, it makes a difference different sound effect and honestly I think it's a lot cooler. So here are the attachments I'm going to be rocking on the LK24 in today's gameplay. We're going to be using the foregrip extended mag and quick draw. Those are my three go-to attachments for assault rifles on the usual and for this gun specifically I'm going to be using the red dot sight. Now the reason I'm doing that is because the LK for me personally has a really unclear obstructing iron sight so I don't like to use it so for that reason once again I'm going to be using the red dot. With that being said this is the rest of the loadout I'm going to be using here for our first matchup, which is actually going to be a public match. We're going to hop in and see if we can drop ourselves a nuke with this weapon. And later on in the video, I'm going to be hopping into some solo ranked games and I'll show you guys what we're going to be using then. Now, before I actually queue up for a game, I just want to give you all a friendly reminder that at some point during today's video, a $10 Amazon gift card code is going to pop up on screen. I've been doing this for the past couple of weeks. And I'm going to be continuing to do it for the next several weeks. So if you guys want to have your best opportunity at snagging one of these gift card codes, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel with the bell notification on that way you get an alert every time i post a new video with all that being said i'm gonna go ahead and cue myself on into a game and i'll see you guys once we find a match and here we are find ourselves a game of raid domination oh, quickly while we are waiting on our last couple of players to connect i did want to just give you guys a listen in on the new audio effect without me talking so i'm gonna go ahead and just fire off an entire mag And as you can see there, it does sound pretty dang beefy. I really do like the new audio effect for it, and I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. But anyway, let's go ahead and hop on into this game, see what we can do. Go ahead and push up forward here. We got a player in the rocks. My teammates should actually be able to close that out, and they did. Another player over here at the mid staircase. I got a lot of shots on, and there's a guy with the locust over here sniping. There we go, cleaning him on up for our first kill of the game. And I have a strong feeling that they're going to spawn up right over here at poolside. Nobody pushing in yet. I am hearing footsteps, though. I'm going to just go ahead and let the trip mine take care of that kill. If they do push forward, I'm going to focus on these other players. That's two. I'm one kill away from this UAV. Got one on B. There we go. Taking him on out, and we got ourselves the radar. A couple of players going bank. There goes one, and the other ones are actually spawning up here in front of me. One's using a baseball bat. Yo. Okay, he was just running with the baseball bat off spawn. I see. I see. I'm going to go ahead and with the flank, though. Not going to expect me to be hitting him from this angle. There he goes, dropping him. Another player in front of me. Okay, good kill, good kill, good kill. Let me get back into the bank. Continue to try to help my team out over here. That guy's actually using my shield as a head glitch. Got two more on us. I got to fall back a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, man, that guy was chasing me hard. Go ahead and drop the shock drone. And then call in a UAV encounter. Should be able to help me out, buy me a little bit of time. Oh, what the heck is that? Footsteps at B. Okay. We're still good. We're still good. A couple of players are about to push out of the kitchen, so got to be prepared for that. There goes one. I'm going to keep rotating well. Throw up another counter UAV so they don't know where exactly I am. Take advantage of this opportunity to reload. Got a player stunned here on the mid staircase. Just don't want to get shot in the side. Got two. Drop the shield. Teammate actually sniped one. 
I'm low key about to push these guys. Yep, yep, let's go for it. Oh! Nope, nope, nope. I'm not dying like that. Not today. Oh, I'm getting pushed by another one as well. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> these guys are actually fighting back kind of hard. I love it. There we go. Clean that up. See if he had a buddy with him. Nope, looks clean to me. Gravity spikes. I think there's a guy in mid. Seems like it. Is he going to push this way? Going on B, okay. Saw that other player. Not exactly too sure what kind of weapon he had. Oh, he was pushing forward with an AR. Oh, I wasn't able to actually spray him up through the wall, but I did make him one hit. And that's going to do it for the round. I survived, and I want to see what we are right now. I know we're definitely past the halfway mark for this nuke. We're currently 14-0, so I'm going to continue to play slow and rotate well. We should be able to close this out. We just need six more. Hopefully, Annihilators aren't going to be coming out here from the opposing team. And I definitely don't want them calling in any UAVs. Hey, let's go, teammate. Shooting it down. That's what I'm talking about. Drop this trophy. Anybody pushing ring? Yeah, I saw that guy. Oh, I beamed him. He's hurt. Is he coming back around fully? No way he actually like pushes. Oh, what a psychopath. We're on the ruthless. That's 15. And that's going to be 16. Got another shock drone as well. Enemy UAV, I'm going to be on that. Ooh. I dropped this shock car. Peek this window. There's another one, and I got myself this counter. Go ahead and toss that into the sky. Got this player stunned. Teammates distracting him. Ooh, that dude really came up pre-firing me. Oh, he's got that fast, fast ping. I don't even know what kind of weapon he had. The Corda? Yeah, that makes sense. Awesome. I think we're just one away from this nuke now. I'm going to continue to push towards C because I do believe that the spawns are about to flip and they're going to start spawning today, so I didn't want to die in the back. That's why I'm moving around where I am. Losing B. Might be able to actually get them off of that. Spray up a little bit, not quite getting anything. They're still on the flag. Our teammates got hives like crazy around here. I just want to keep peeking here towards like mid. Oh, player spotted. I think that's the cord I do. Let's see if he moves forward. Enemy contact. Perfect. There it is. Finally securing that final kill for the nuke, man. That got a little intense towards the end. GG's. All right. Now we have to play for the win. I'm actually going to go ahead and straight up hop the flag and call on the nuke because I do believe that I'm safe to get it down. Maybe not. I don't think my teammates are protecting me. Oh, I got to move. <laughs> I got the flag cap and the nukes. You know what? No harm done there. We're taking a death, but it was totally worth it because now we're going to win the game. There's the nuke dropping. I'm going to go ahead and throw up this counter UAV, and we're just going to push them and try to slay them out a little bit more here before this match ends. We've got just nine points to go. Everybody should be spawning out in front of me. Yeah, we got one, two teammates getting them. Yeah, this was just all around straight up a good matchup. That's what I'm talking about. Good games squad. They're killing it, man. I'm taking these assists like crazy. 25 and 1 is going to do it here for our first little warm-up public match. And I'll take it. That was a fun game. And now that we have our public match taken care of, we're going to go ahead and swap on over to Legendary Ranked. I went ahead and updated my loadout, so I swapped out Vulture for Ghost and the Transform Shield for the Annihilator. And then more importantly, the score streaks have changed. So I'm going to be rocking UAV, Predator Missile, and XS1 Goliath. These are typically my like go-to streaks when it comes to doing solo Legendary. For the reason that you can really carry your squad with these streaks, the UAV is always a valuable item to have because of the fact that even if it gets shot down, it will typically ping a couple of enemies on the radar and allow you to know their location if they're pushing a certain spot or if they're spawning up in a certain spot. Predator Missile is a very helpful tool as well because if you're across the map from an objective, you can still use the Predator Missile to take enemies off of an objective. And then, of course, the XS1 Goliath is just a beast. You can hold down positions, lock down lanes, and even cap flags with it. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and find ourselves a matchup. And we'll see if we can carry our squad to a victory. Tunisia search and astray. All right. Well. I've been playing search and destroy for the last like two hours now. Trying to record a respawn match for you guys. And I give up. I miss rank selection. And <laughs> it is what it is. I love this map for SND to be completely honest. It flows very well. So we'll see what we can go ahead and do. Immediately, I'm going to go ahead and run on over here to the A lane and drop a trip mine around that corner just in case anybody peeks. And then we're just going to watch this for a second. Some grenades being thrown. 
but I'm not quite seeing anything. There was one that actually peaked. I'm just going to relocate again. See if anyone's going to challenge me. Yeah, I heard something. I heard a slide. Check my left side one more time. Kind of soloing right now here at A. Got two. Taking them both out. Oh my goodness. Reloading. Whew. It was a huge, huge two-piece. Go ahead and drop a trophy down because I think I'm actually going to have to hang out here for a little bit longer. Get a couple of wall bangs. Nothing happening with that. And our team is actually sort of slaying up, so I'm going to pick up my trophy and push forward. See if we can secure this last kill or maybe even get towards our teammate. I'm actually going to hold this down for a second. Where is this guy at? He's kind of rotating to me, so you know what? I'm not in a bad spot at all. I'm going to wait for him to come back. Oh, spotted the last player. Got some shots on. There we go, securing the kill. All right, so that ended up working out pretty well. It got a little scuffed for a minute because of the fact that me and my teammate weren't communicating. But uh, when I saw him rotating back, I decided to reposition, and we ended up getting a nice little bait and switch there. Doesn't matter if it was uncoordinated. It worked. Round one going in our favor. Let's go ahead and push here towards mid. Let's see if we have anybody like sniping. We got teammates sniping with us. I hear a grenade. I'm going to fall back a little bit, actually. I do want to rotate towards the building. Actually, our teammate's doing that. So you know what? I'm going to hang out over here. Defend A for a little bit. How about my teammate? There we go. Trading his kill. Not getting pushed by a second, which is good. Still checking A. Not seeing anything. I think the opponents are going to be hard pushing B over here. Nothing mid. Nothing down low. I want to try to help my teammates on this defense. I'd love to be in a different position so we weren't like all kind of like hugging the same area together. But... It's all good. Your boy's laser in one, getting a trip on kill on another, and finishing off the fourth. Whew. I'll do it for round two. Piecing him up a little bit. Almost an ace that round. We've got seven kills at the moment. I'm really happy that worked out the way it did. So one player did try to flank, and that's when they actually ran into my trip mine that was placed right here in this hallway. So I'm really happy with how things worked out there. I'm going to, like, full aggressive peek this because I know I have a sniper above me. Not seeing anything, so I'm actually going to push forward here and see if we can get a flank going. Enemy contact. Got one guy waiting for it. That actually was a pretty decent play. I'm going to drop a trip mine right over there, and if he actually tries to push me, it should kill him. I don't know if it was too high. I want to fall back here and check A. There we go, taking out one. Not sure what our teammate was shooting at, maybe a second. I want to watch my back in case I was late and someone tried to flank us. Looks like we're good, and it seems like the opponents are actually going to be pushing towards B again. Woo! Teammate, I got your back. Don't worry. 3v1 situation in favor of our team. The last player is right around over here. I'm going to try to hop up, and I should be able to either run into him or flank him or just, you know, let my teammates take care of that one. 3-0 right now. Just two more rounds until we close out this SND. Man, we're having a great game as well. Nine kills to our name at the moment. Like I said, I love Tunisia. Really does play out well. It's a very tactical map. I'm going to go ahead and get a little more aggressive in this round. We're going to drop another trip mine over there, and then I'm going to just peek like this. Not seeing anybody, not seeing anybody. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hop up here. Enemy in sight. Enemy in sight, yep. All right, cool. <laughs> that almost actually kind of backfired, but that guy didn't react at all, so I'm really happy with how that went. Now I'm going to go ahead and start pushing these opponents right over here, see if we can get this flank going and maybe pinch the last couple of players with my squad. Oh, heck yeah. Good fight. Good fight. 3v1 now. Once again, I'm just going to sit here in the bush for a minute. The last player is not making any mistakes right now. Not like chasing anybody. I'm thinking this guy might be hanging out over here at A or something, playing a little bit slow. Teammates pushing the winery, so I'm going to go ahead and watch our base. Not seeing anything over there. Oh, and yeah, he was actually rotating around the back of our base and ran straight into my teammate. 4-0 right now. Absolute dominant matchup. I'm currently going 10-0. Our team is popping off. Let's see if we can go ahead and close out this last round. I might just full send an aggressive push down mid. It's a 4v5 right now because one of the players on the other team actually left, probably thinking that they were going to lose that round. Mid, there's two. Spraying them up pretty good. I think they're going to re-challenge that. I'm going to actually re position here just in case they do i'd rather be closer up my sniper actually pulling through with one teammate pulling through with another i'm gonna keep playing aggressive i'm trying to get these kills man it's a trophy down over here oh the guy's under their base 
No. Teammate got it. It's a 4v1 right now. Last player is over here at A. I'm trying to get that kill. Come on. I need it. I need it, dude. I'm just full sending. I think he's over here. Oh. No. 1v1. And our teammate clutching it on up. That's going to go ahead and do it here for our ranked matchup. 5-1 to one victory coming out of us here in Search and Destroy. And of course, I'll go ahead and with pleasure claim that MVP title and earn myself 85 points. Shout out to my squad. You guys are absolute beasts. Thank you all so much for tuning in here to today's video. I'm sorry that our ranked matchup wasn't anything too special. I've actually spent the last hour and a half trying to get into matches and have literally only gotten Search and Destroy. So I figured enough is enough. I'm just going to record an SD and then we'll call it here for the video. So again, thank you all so much for tuning in. If you did enjoy, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. But that's going to do it for me and I'll catch you all in the next one.